Hi and welcome to an OEB Let's Play series on Old Brook V2. Now if you've watched the previous episodes you'll know, well this is episode 3, you'll notice that there wasn't a ticker up top before, I've bought a couple of mixing silos and I've had to take out a loan. Rather than spend a lot of time carting to the various tip points to make money, I've uh, taken out the loan just to keep the video flowing. So obviously this episode I'm going to try and get some grass in, working towards bringing the pigs and getting the cows going. So we've had to buy a couple of mowers. We're going to keep that money as well. Just for when the time comes to load everything back up again because we're going to need some front loaders. So I've got a couple of MR mowers. They're a little bit more than the normal vanillas but it goes with the MR system. So we're going to course play a path up to paddock 1. Uh, rather than go there and back and do a transfer course, I'm just going to do it one by one for now. So we'll start the course recording here. And away we go. Managed to finish the cultivating last time. As you notice, it's morning now. Took a while with a little cultivator. the PDA up so you can all see where we're going. Take a left out of the farm, up past the petrol station, heading into the top corner by the park the freight yard, and paddock one. And I've missed a turning. <laughs> so we'll pause that. Here's a good example of how to delete things on cosplay when you screw up the route. Go back a couple of steps. And carry on. the parts now coming up on the right hand side go over the railway lines just see the cranes through the mist real life you probably wouldn't be doing much in the mist because everything will be damp heading up towards the freight yard and it's this little dirt track here Come down here, and here we are in paddock one. Lots of grass for us. I don't think Carsplay is going to register this particular field to do that uh, field discovery, so we're going to have to mark out a course. It shouldn't be too difficult. But we'll pause that there. We'll save that farm to P1. Job done. Now reset that cast. And the best way to do this is going to be to leave a bigger headland. Well, we can try and calculate it. No, doesn't recognise it as a field. So we'll have to start and do the old fashioned way. I suppose we could grasp the whole thing. We're going to need to bring a windrow up anyway to make it easier for the front loader. Not front loader, forage wagon. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do this, it's easier for us. We'll leave a little bit, but it is a big paddock, so we're okay. We'll get plenty of grass out of it, and it grows back fast enough.
you know, come back down the far side. This is the old way of using course play where you had to drive around the edges, save that as a route, and then generate the course inside. But I'll demonstrate it as soon as this is finished. There we go. Stop that there. Save that as P1. Well, we'll go for full name. Parrot 1. Right. Select field work and we should be able to generate a course inside. Now, this particular mower, I believe, is 13. Eight point nine five the mile and does it change? It goes to eight point seven. So it's obviously been reanalyzed, so we'll go for eight point seven then. Use this lovely scrolling feature. That should be eight point five for a bit of overlap just to make sure. There we go. Field edge path. Pad at one. We'll leave that blank. Starting corner southwest. Heading east, no headland. Headland, ah, could be useful. We'll try that. Generate the course. Save that as P1 Mo. Eight point five meter. Hopefully, set him on his way. See how this works, see where he's going to begin. He's obviously got a plant because he's off. I'm guessing he's beginning here, but he's going to turn around. <laughs> this for future reference so we know where to start him. Is he going to crash now and have an incident in the trees? Shouldn't do, they're not looking like collision trees. We should be okay. Heading back out. There we go. Now that he should do three headlands and then start going up and down, which is going to give us more than enough space. So we probably could have gone a lot closer to the edge. I forgot about this version of CarPlay having the option of up to six headlands. But it's not too much of a problem. Right then, back down to the main farm and we'll bring something else up. So we've got an 8.5 metre course now, so should be able to find ourselves an 8.5 meter windrow. Or we can go a bit silly and buy the big one. But if we stick to this one we can use the same car so it's not going to interfere too much. So we'll go that, make sure it's the MR version. Yep. We'll have that one. Bring that back into the ad. Obviously we don't need this quite this much weight on for a windrow, so we'll chop a bit off. Take back to three. Now if you look closely you can just see that the weight has started to get dirty with the washable script. Obviously the tractor being the vanilla one doesn't have washable, so it will stay clean. Now we can test out the course we just did heading up to the paddock. Uh, turn hood hider off again. Bring up course play. All we want is a transfer. I should have possibly put a waiting point at the end though. This may or may not cause us a problem. Drive from start to finish. But then normally try and go again. So we may have to keep our eye on this for now. Farm to P1. Load it up. Nearest waypoint will do. 
Dive cars. Seems to be an issue with that. Oh dear. Farm to P1. Yes, load that. Wrong trailer, yep. Overload a combine transfer drive from start to finish. Track from the first waypoint. Ah, little things. <laughs> oh well. And then I'll send the Massey up with the loader. Wagon. You can see by the load status that everything's moving, apart from the combine. It's found to be one, because obviously he's parked up in the shed now. This guy's making good progress. See how long we've been uh, messing around back at the farm, and he's still not managed to do one headland yet. This is how big the paddock is. It'll take a while for us to work. Which is handy that we've got three tractors. If you look on the PDA map now, you can see the two yellow circles. I've got the show hired workers on the PDA mod installed. So you can see when they're coming, see when they're going to arrive, so we can get ready to jump back on that tractor just to make sure it is going to wait here. So that if he tries to go back down to the main farm without a course, he's going to have a couple of issues. I'll find him in a pond or stuck on a wall, stuck up a tree. And he's getting close. So let's see what happens. If I do need a waypoint in this course, I'll re-record it off camera. But there's a lesson in that. At the moment of truth. Ready with the mouse just in case. <laughs> Trying to go back. So that course is going to need re recording. I'll have to remember that for the return course. And obviously now I have to stop the Massey as well. <coughs> Sorry, I sneezed. 13 minutes in, so far I've just got all the tools up to the paddock. I've already screwed up the course play. Control 7 to stop driver. Apparently not. I'm just going One five seven. No, not working. Oh well. Stop him this way. It burns the engine out stuck on a bush. Park him here out of the way. Right then. Still very misty. <laughs> It's going to be a white line, don't need the combine. He's nearly got two passes done, so it might be safe to start the windrower. 
obviously he's going to start going up and down. So there may yet be an incident. But after we start this, I may buy a new toy and take it up to the pig farm. I think we'll get a front loader and head on up. So there's a bit of grass here, but I'm not too worried about that. Right, reset the course. 8.5 meter P1 moat. Field work. First waypoint. Begin. Let's make sure he starts off happily. All appears to be going well. And he's off. Lovely. Right then. While these guys are pottering about up here, we're going to go do something else. So we'll dive into the shop. And this is going to be a challenge for the loader. Because I'm going to need a trailer up top. They can handle just about anything. This is a trailer that I'm of the gilbert that I modded. It will take everything. Obviously I change its colour so I can tell the difference as well. So I'm gonna buy one of those. Obviously this is a standard trailer. So it may yet be released. I have already done a modding video that on how to add crops to trailers if you look around on my channel not to MR though but you can add your own crops to trailers now which is perfect for this use because when you start playing about with straw there's not that much that can carry it and these are Marston trailers of FSUK I've not had much to do with these yet but the time may yet come Right, we're also going to go in back at the front loaders. Uh, we're going to buy the MR jutes and the telehandler conveyor. The telehandler conveyor is on mod hoster. I will provide a link for that. So there we go. Jump over here. Uh, are we closer to the climb there or from the main fall? I'll go up the climb rather than the fall. So we'll reset everything back to the yard, get it all delivered. That made it easier. <laughs> Hopefully he can carry that trailer. We're going to be putting a lot of weight on this little telehandler. But he starts well. Now, I believe going out the top is the best way. Yes, yeah, straight onto the main road. So we'll start the cast recording from here. This is going to be arable to pig farm. It's going to take us a little while. But this will be your first experience of the actual climb itself. This is a steadier way up, it's not quite so steep. It zigzags its way up the hill. I love this little conveyor mod, it's very useful. So there's only little buckets in the game. Keep them with real life and 
having driving a telehandler is a load of wagging. In, in real life, it takes a long time. I think we only have a one ton bucket on our telehandler. And I've got to get 28 in the wagon. I've only had to do it uh, on one shift so far when the actual loading shovel we had broke down. Come on, girl. There she goes. <laughs> That's a good sign because the climb isn't that steep. Go for a little in cab ride. See the sun's starting to break through now, burn the mist off. Half past six in the morning. It's looking like it's gonna be another good day. But is it? What's the weather say? Cloudy. Time will tell. And welcome to the climb. As you can see the incline is a lot easier than the fall. I have to remember to put a waiting point at the end of this course as well. I'm just screwing up the other one. But yeah, little telehandler, big conveyor, big trailer, powers up, moving at 14 miles an hour. Safe to climb the climb. The fall, she may stall on there. This telehandler will be being left up at the pig farm. It's going to be the only machine we really need up here. I found out that the food storage silos are linked, so anything that we put in at the dairy farm, sheep farm rather, will appear up here. So all we can need to do is all our harvesting down there, fill those silos, it pops up up here and we can jump up here, grab this and use it as we need to. Because the straw that we put in there is already up here. I have left the mixing silo up here as well, just so we can speed it up a little. But we don't necessarily... Necessity. Yeah, big word. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Possibly don't need it. That's a better way. Necessarily. You can see, still on the climb, five minutes later. <laughs> this is why we didn't visit so much up here. It's a long way. <laughs> I said, I won't need to do the return course until I actually need to take something back. And that won't be this episode. So the loan I took out was for a million pounds, or maybe a 1.1 mil, and now down to 850. It would have taken us a while to get that m amount of money to get to where we are now, just by taking out a loan. There'd have been more harvesting episodes, carting episodes. It's all well and good, but they've been seen, they've been done. I'm trying to show off the map. rather than just repeat the same process over and over again in the first two fields. I see the BGA, we've just gone past that on the right. We're coming up now to the back entrance to the pig farm. 
just going to appear on your left in the bushes soon. So I'll take you down there because we've not been down there yet. Here we go. Bouncing around down the old dirt tracks. <laughs> if you notice where I'm driving, I'm actually taking a rut un directly underneath the middle of the machine. So we're not in the ruts, otherwise you get a bit bouncy. It's how I drive in ruts in real life. Avoid them. And here we go. Welcome to the pig farm. It's still a bit misty. We'll add a waiting point. That looks like a waiting point to me. And stop the cast there. Save. Farm to pig. Farm. Done. Reset that cast. I did save it, didn't I? Double clicked. Farm to pig farm, yes we're good. Right, turn all this off. And while we're up here, let's bring our little piggies to life. Now the great thing about having a telehandler with a hitch on the back and a trailer is you can do everything in one. Here we go, line up on the straw, fill the trailer up. I don't know if this is uh, very realistic for real life. I can't imagine having a conveyor swinging around on the front of the machine is a good idea. It would be better to have it on its own system. There is a trailer that comes with the mod package. I may yet break that out. But just to get the piggies going, oh there we go, in traffic, again, again, now is he going to stay in traffic this time? See this is what I was worried about with the going up and down. Oh, the windrow has caught him up. Right, so the trick is to slow down the windrow. A long way. There we go. He'll still finish the job in plenty of time. But for now I think he's getting a little bit carried away. Obviously, while we're taking the grass back to our farms and such like, it's going to be a little bit of an issue because they don't tip into the silos very well on cast play. You have to do a little reverse. So we're going to have to come up with a cast for that as well. But we can do that in a little while. Back up to the telehandler. Ooh. Easy. Uh, this is probably not going to work as well as I'd hope, so I'll put the conveyor down for this. I'll just drag it with us. <laughs> there we go. Star is accepted there. Bring the animal hood back up. I may have to move the operating hours window. So this is slightly in the way there. If you've uh, used the animal hood before, you'll notice that it's further to the left on my screen. It's because it interferes with the more realistic parts 
the shuttle, the T3 gear selector. Obviously your slippage and losses as well. So I just dragged it out of the way a little bit. But the way it's set up, it leaves the hood still glued to the right hand side window. Or right hand side of your window. It's not so much of a problem because it uh, does cover everything. I may do a couple of uh, modding videos on adjusting things like that around your screen as well. I imagine they'll be quite handy for people. Right, we're half an hour in, so I think I'll finish giving the pig some straw. Hold off on that one there just to make sure the conveyor's empty. We'll put this over here because we're not going to be having any mixed rations for a while. Actually, we could put some straw into the mixing silo. If you ever played with a mixing silo before, it's a little green machine. Three silos on the back of it, a mixing bay. Oh, that has not gone to plan. Come on. There we go. Stuck on a bush. <laughs> See, the bushes are evil on this map. <laughs> Yeah, back to the mixing silo. Uh, basically mixes up straw, grass, hay, or hay, and silage, and turns it into mixed rations. Great little device for single player. Come on. Ugh. Controls are going to pop today. <laughs> there we go. Nice and straight lined up. Yeah, mixing silo, it'll mix up mixed rations for you slowly over a period of time. Now, I haven't actually got the original in my mods folder at the minute. I'll put it back for next time so you know what you're looking for. The version I've got is one I was playing about with in Giants Editor. Just moving stuff around, changing the model itself. But with a little bit of fettling in there, you can end up with something like this. It's exactly the same thing, it just looks different. Obviously these three grates are where you put the product. So we'll put straw in there. So things can be changed to suit what you like really. I thought this looked cool, it was a nice little silo that I found somewhere. Right, so we've still got the mixing part here. There we go, 27,000 litres of straw. Right, so you park under here to get the mixed rations out after you fill it up. Just something different. Like I said, I'll put the normal one back in. Because obviously this one's not available for release. And unless you do it yourself, it cannot be achieved. You will need to bring a water trailer up here for the pigs in the future, but for now, they've got a nice amount of straw. So hopefully they'll start knocking out some liquid manure. And we can fertilise the fields when it comes out of planting. Right, dive back over here, see how these guys are getting on. He has got 
one strip left. So close. Right, when he finishes this then I'll do the return cast play cast back to the farm and we'll leave it at that obviously with a waiting point because I've screwed that up nicely <laughs> see a little collision between the two there because of the overlap now the windrow itself is 8.5 meters but this is 8.7 Such a little amount of overlap doesn't cause a huge collision between the two. But, as you notice, it has worked. The field has been mown. We have used up the headland features, as you can see, the three around the outside. Done a little bit of up and down. The course is saved perfectly. Again, cars play comes to the rescue. He lifts up all three mowers for the turn. We could definitely have used Moss, but the base in here gone a bit closer to the edge. I was just playing it safe. Because if you do spend time making up a course, and then it has a collision somewhere, you have to do it all again, it does get a little frustrating. And it's nice when it works straight out of the box first time. Obviously these trees over here are not collision trees. You can run straight through them. But I did notice the hedges in that bottom corner we've just come from. They are collidable. And will suck you in and ninja you. So he's just going to have a little collision again. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. It hasn't been while we haven't been watching. There we go. Little nudge. Just the tiniest little bit. I'm not worried about that. I think I'll probably actually forage this field off camera. Or at least make up the course play. Do one run. that we're ready to do something different next time. Obviously we'll have grass then in our silo so we can put grass in the mixing station. Then all we need to do is find silage. I think we only have one clamp down here at the sheep farm but it will be big enough for what we need. And then we'll go from there. Has he stopped? No. But this guy has finished. Job done. We can stop him there. Reset the course. Fold. Oh, apparently the mowers are running. Yeah, it didn't uh, turn off the rear mower. Only a little issue. Nothing major. Right, I'll we'll start this cast here, point him straight out so we can use the two egg rule, but it's not two diamonds, I suppose. And start cast recording. Head on home. Just remember to put the waypoint at the end. But not too fast <laughs> over the ruts so it'll flip into the bush. That'll be a great start to the course. At least we're not at the end. So obviously if you can get out the bush you can go back a few steps. But if the bush has truly got a good hold and you have to reset it's lost.
would be possible to have machines working tandem if I made sure I drove on the left. Oh well. We've only got three tractors, having them work running side by side is not going to be much of an issue on the roads. I think I'm right here, and we're back into the farm. As you can see now from the animal status hood. Oh dear. That'll be my alarm for work. And I can't stop it. It won't stop. Oh dear. That's always great for a video. Thank you. I did actually turn that alarm off when I woke up, so I don't know why it's going off now. Oh well. Uh, how badly did the car so I get affected with that? Again? Huh. I'll make this nice and easy. And turn the phone off. Modern technology, cocking up. Uh, Pause that. Have to reset the car a bit there. Sorry about that, that's very loud. Not the car's play that's gone wrong, it's the video. We're 42 minutes in and we have an incident like that. <laughs> there we go, yep, we're back on. Right, take him into the farm. So this gate's non collidable. Bring him round here and just park him here. And we'll add the waypoint. Not forgetting it this time. Let's forward a little bit more. Stop there. There we go. Save it. P1 to farm. And we're done. And that'll do us for this episode, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you later. Bye.